we are live. Welcome to Andor Season 1, Episode 7, Thoughts. This episode is called Announcement. So, spoilers for basically everything Star Wars up to this point. So, yeah, this was another incredible episode. Something I, I, I that really dawned on me watching this episode, if you love sci-fi and or political thrillers but don't know Star Wars, you don't need to watch anything else before watching this show, and I really love that. Like, sure, there's there's context in Rogue One and New Hope and such, but you really did, like there's so there's a lot of stuff in this show that we didn't know from at least from watching live action stuff. I haven't watched the animated ones. I will, but the yeah and. You know, if yeah, if you don't know Star Wars before going into this, yeah, there's there's more for you to absorb. But I would argue it's possible. Like you could, yeah, like if you're just a fan of Tony Gilroy, I realize it's a little hard to. Yeah, I, I you can basically recognize Michael Clayton there at least if you know what you're looking at. I realize it's harder to see, but I do also have duplicity there. It's just it's part of a like a I want to say four. Yeah, there were, there were four movies there, so, you know, they fit all four of them on the DVD cover. So we see Cyril, you know, he's on, he's, yeah, this is the day of his interview, and his mother complains about his raised collar, and, you know, I, I'm not gonna talk so much about, I, you know, as usual, make sure you watch Jesse Gender's review of the episode, she does a really great job you know, talking about Cyril and and his mother, and, yeah. And he looks intently at the news report of the Aldani mission, which, you know, his mother passes off, ah, it's, you know, what was it? Rabble-rousing. They'll be dealt with, something like that, you know. And, you know, yeah, we go to the ISB, and the, you know, not not the guy we're used to, I, I you know, but, yeah, one of the guys in charge there, I forget the exact, I, I can't recite the entire line, but he's, you know, he ends with something like, what we have to decide here is how tight we close our fist, you know, and yeah, the ISB are going to hit back hard, and I couldn't help but, they, you know, so there's one attack, and they're going to employ surveillance, and, like, deploy a lot of force against suspects. Yeah, this really reminds me of the Patriot Act after 9-11. And obviously, you know, full-on dictatorships. You know, but, but yeah. the Like, if, if you look at what the Empire is doing in response to... I mean, what, like, I don't know. Um, let's see, there was at least one officer... One Imperial officer who died on Aldani, and some of the, the troopers were shot, I don't know, uh, half to a full dozen, maybe. And they're going to hit back so much harder, you know, and that's that's what dictators do. You know, the, uh, the Nazis under, um, I want to say it was, for example, places like France, you know, the, the ah, what's it called? The, the people... You know, yeah, there were some people sabotaging. And in response to sabotage, the Nazis would go, like, extremely overboard. And, and you know, basically, they figured this is the way that we scare off future saboteurs. And, and this is how we turn regular people against saboteurs. And, you know, yeah, the, after the big uh, meeting... Dedra, you know, she realizes this is what the rebels want. They want them to, you know, go hard so that it makes people hate the Empire. And we're told that 134 Aldani residents have been taken into custody for suspicion of, um, what was it, what, they, they phrased it, suspicion of, of, uh, collaborating with with this episode, you know, something like that. Which you know, I mean, as far as we could tell, there weren't any like like all the rebels. As far as I could tell, they came from outside and used Aldani, 
you know, the, the actual Aldani, you know, they, they said, oh, you know, now there's only 60 of, of the um, I, uh, pil pilgrims, you know, so, I mean, it's more than twice that that they've, you know, yeah, I would, I would say this is definitely the show telling us, you know, yeah, they're going, they're going hugely overboard. They're not, you know, if, if they used like surgical laser like precision, you know, then they could, you know, point to that result and tell everybody else, if you try to, you know, go against the empire, this is what happens. But instead, what they're saying is, if anyone goes against the Empire, you all pay. And yeah, you know, for a bunch of people, that is going to work. But for a lot, it's just going to make them hate the dictatorship instead, you know. And yeah, like the, the you know, yeah, Jesse Gender also mentions the, the police brutality here. And yeah, you know, this really is the, the yeah, again, like American police. Are very much like you know the 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 trooper follows him and just everything that he says to Cassian is just like Cassian hasn't done anything like I don't know what would even have like I guess if Cassian had tried to tackle one of the guys running past him or if he wasn't walking if he was sitting instead but yeah it's just it's this random thing of targeting him you know like we the audience know that you know Cassian has done some things but he wasn't doing anything there he wasn't running he was walking and he's like no I'm going to the store the store is right there you know it's like I'm not in an area I'm not supposed to be you know the the just it's it's completely ridiculous you know and and then you have the the uh, uh, I think it was like KX something, but you know, it's it looks like KSO. It's it's the same model as KS. I I know I wrote it somewhere. Uh, K K two S O. Yeah, from row one. And And yeah, we see you know Luthen and Mon Mothma, and Mon Mothma is very scared of the consequences. And you know she she points out to Luthen, people will suffer, and he responds, "That's the plan." And, you know that's that is how we stop this. And it's I I can't help but think of the the you know in this situation, Mon Mothma is essentially the the what was it the the moderate ah crap um. You know, Dr. King, the white moderate, yeah. Dr. Martin Luther King talked about how the white moderate, I forget the exact phrasing, I'm afraid, but something like that the white moderate is a greater obstacle than the, the, um, the white supremacist, you know. And, yeah, here Mon Mothma is basically saying we have to do this, you know, slowly and without violence and this kind of thing. And, you know, because that was basically, yeah, you know, if, like as black people who protested during the civil rights movement were met with a lot of violence. And if they hadn't protested, they might not have, you know, if it would require them like some some white people not liking them first before you know it wasn't it didn't necessarily hit all of those people before the protest but because of the protest you know they actually ended up getting their civil rights which you know then we still have we still have a long way to go but yeah you know the the i don't know maybe i'm reading too much into it i have I'm not saying I never do that, but yeah, that was very much something that sprung to my mind when, and let's see, so, so yeah, and we see Cyril is up for a cubicle job. I mean, it is a stunning looking office, all the, the white panels and just, but it's still a cubicle, you know, and I really appreciate, like, it's, yeah, it's the Star Wars galaxy equivalent of a cubicle. There, there are the little walls which you know uh, like 
a hardcore capitalist would say, ah, but you, you know, it's not, it doesn't go all the way to the ceiling, it's not a wall, but people who work in cubicles will tell you they, their walls, that's the, that's the result they have on us, you know, it's dehumanizing. And, and I appreciate, you know, he, he defends himself, you know, the guy says, oh, so, uh, Ferrix, that was you, you know, and, and he points out, you know, and, and it is like, you know, his defense is fair, like he, he points out, you know, it's the law, you know, he, he didn't, he didn't break the law, he went, uh, you know, he, uh, above, you know, whatever, he, he, he didn't accept that his boss was telling him to let it go, but what he was saying was still, yeah. And Dedra goes and asks for info, and you know, later points out, well, you know, she was just using the law that was just passed, you know, the extra, which, yeah, very, very clever, because, yeah, like, if she goes to, I wrote down his name this time, if she goes to Blevin, yeah, he's, I mean, he's gonna, he, he's getting increasingly irritated the more she pushes on this, you know, this time even as, you know, and the, the guy in charge is like, are you sure this is where you want to have this conversation? You, you don't want the three of us to have this conversation in my office where no one else can see, you know, and he's like, no, I'm gonna do, oh, and he fails, so. And Sinta sees a Star Destroyer above her. And Vel is asked to kill Cassian, since Cassian knows Luthen. He's a loose end, you know, and yeah. And and now that Cassian is, is in prison by the end of this episode, I mean, yeah, there's some chance that... I, I mean, yeah, yeah, having watched Rogue One, we know that he won't die. But there's some chance that Vel or... A, someone else is going to try to assassinate him there, you know, so, yeah. And and I really appreciate, like, Cassian legitimately thought, if I just run away far enough, we're going to be safe. You know, he legit, he, he hates the Empire, yes, but he doesn't fully appreciate how far they're willing to go, and essentially how little it takes. I mean, yes, it was a lot of money stolen, but again, minimum loss of life. You know, they didn't, like, because they, they could have, they could have gone around killing, for example, the, the officer's family, you know, we, ha we haven't seen them since, but, I mean, presumably they were just released, you know, I, I figure they were probably left tied up somewhere and were found when the Empire went in to investigate, you know, and... I, I appreciate, you know, Vel changed her appearance a little. Her her hair is different, for example. And I'm almost 100% certain some of the clothes were, were different, but yeah. And Marva tries to send Cass away. He wants her to come with. And Mon and Tay talk, and he's more radical than her reputation suggests she is. And she tells him about her real work, and... You know, I love how many times she tells him to smile, and she herself never fails. You know, she's always got this this gentle smile on her face. So, you know, anyone looking would say, ah, friends from childhood, they're just, you know, they're reminiscing. You know, there's nothing upsetting going on there. Because if, the, if two people have a secret conversation, and someone tells the Empire... I mean, I didn't hear what they were saying, but one of them did not look happy about it. You know, yeah, that's... I, I don't know if they would be put in prison, but they'd almost definitely be interrogated over that, you know. And I love that it's not completely clear, if, you know, because she goes further than Tay. So, I mean, essentially, she's talking about action where he's, like, he he he's expressing a viewpoint, and she's like, Let's put some action behind that. Let's let's do this thing. And he doesn't say, I'm with you to the end of the line. He's like, oh, oh right, smile. <laughs> and she's like, to be continued. <laughs> you know, so it's this because I I mean, he's not going to turn her in, obviously, because then there'll be like, 
why'd she tell you about this? You know, that's, and and apparently a lot of people are aware that he is, you know, he is a bit more radical than, than she is, so, you know, and, and I figure, I, I don't think Mon Mothma goes around telling every single person, you know, she even says, you know, my, my driver is an informant, they're watching me all the time, my husband is against this whole thing, you know, that I used to just be able to access my funds, and now, you know, and, and the, so, so yeah, you know, she is very careful who she chooses to share this with, and, yeah, you know, she knows that he's not gonna go and tell the Empire, and that there's a pretty decent chance that he's gonna, you know, he's gonna have to think about it, but, yeah. And he's a banker, and they are talking about funds, so it makes a lot of sense. And Cassian tries to talk to Dix, who tries to send him away. You'll be turned in. By who? By who? By anyone, you know, and, and she points out, they blame you. You know, you you killed two of of the these you know uh, officers, and then you came here. You risked the whole village. That's how they see it. And I, I really appreciate you know this is uh, um, it's I hate when there's a movie or TV show that's talking about like okay here's someone you know going around doing vigilantism, you know, one of the most recent, you know, yeah, I watched Peppermint, I, I don't know, was that two years ago, so, you know, it, it wasn't yesterday, and there's this thing of, you know, one, one of the cops who are investigating is like, oh, you know, Twitter loves her, everyone is saying that they, they completely agree with it, and it's just like, no, that's not, I get that that's what you want, that's the, the, there's this, you know, people who like vigilantism like to think that everybody likes vigilantism. I like vigilantism fiction, but I don't agree with real-life vigilantism. It's almost always wrong. We have to change the law. We don't go around the law, you know, again, other than stuff like the, the march, you know, the Dr. King, yeah that kind of thing. But going around killing people, I, no, um, almost never, almost never. And the, the, um, you know, yeah, my philosophy is f the use of force is only okay when it prevents greater force. And again, the March for Civil Rights was that because they were being brutalized. Um, and, you know, still are, sadly, the whole 13th Amendment thing, but the, yeah, um, right, so the, yes, so I, I really dislike when a piece of fiction is like, no, 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 everybody agrees with this, no, they don't, there will be some people who do not agree with, you know, whenever you take a radical course of action, you will have some people saying this is not okay, and I really appreciate this show shows that, you know, the people of Ferrix were like, we were fine, and now there are stormtroopers in the streets, you know, you did this, you shouldn't have come home, you killed people, you came home, they found you, and now we have, you know, all these Imperials that, so, yeah, and let's see. Um, and I appreciate you know Cassian repays his debts on Ferrix, even though it's a large chunk of what you know. What was it like? Was he promised like forty, and he paid back twelve? You know, that's almost a third of. So yeah, you know, he has honor. And we get a flashback and see Clem, Kansas' adoptive father, was killed, even though he tried to stop the others from throwing rocks at stormtroopers. You know, we were told that he was hanged, and now we see him getting caught, you know. And, yeah, like, literally, he ran, like, he tried to block them from throwing the rocks and told them, no, stop, this will only make things worse. And the officer says, stop, turn, aim. And that was it, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm, I forget 
we might have been told, but I forget, if Clem, you know, told them, I, I was trying to stop it, I wasn't part of it, you know, and that's just, yeah, he was still, and, and that is also, like, I mean, there, there have been, there have been cases where, like, cops brutalizing protesters accidentally brutalized an undercover cop who had infiltrated them, you know, so, and Marv insists on staying on Ferrix and or, and we, again, get underlined, and or does not believe in the rebellion yet, saying Aldani was just a robbery. And, you know, Marva tells Cassian his sister, you know, is dead, and, and it's this thing of, like, I don't know, I, I, it's possible that that will just turn out to be true, but I could imagine that maybe, like, you know, maybe the Imperial forces got to his sister, and Marva knows that, and she's like, if he finds his sister, it's just gonna be, you know, it's only gonna lead to heartache. And, yeah, we have the debate between Miro and Blevin, and, you know, she points out, do you really think the rebels respect the lines we draw on maps? You know, and, and it is, again, this thing of, you know, bureaucracy. Like, it's it's ridiculous that, you know, she's found all this data. Data. And she's like, this points to, this is a pattern. There, there's clearly something here. And they're like, but that's not your area, though. You know, it's it's ridiculous. Like, from from the point of view of trying, of, of the Empire winning, you know, of course you wouldn't, like, and, and that, I mean, they are essentially, um, yeah, yeah, I, I get the sense that the, uh, uh, the rebels are taking advantage of the lines drawn on maps. You know, they're like, I mean, I figure that this area and this area are probably handled by different officers, and if they don't work together, you know, yeah, the, the, you know, both of them are just going to be like, well, it only happened once you know and and then it's not a pattern it's not you know cuz cuz yeah you know maybe they just stole money for food you know maybe it wasn't you know that that was Aldani was the biggest thing yet you know and yeah these other times you know and and that was as if i understand correctly on Aldani they used stuff they had stolen some of those other places you know so they were careful to only steal so little that people would be like, I don't know, I guess some kids broke in and stole a couple of things for, like, they want to play around with, whatever. It's not a rebellion, you know. Aldani is definitely a rebellion. And we see Niamos, and we get just a stunning establishing shot. And, you know, Cassian has found a partner, so, you know, yeah, he, he is, and, and I like the, you know, we don't need, like, a lot, but just, like, she's in bed, he's taking a shower, okay, this is not, they're not just, like, friends, they, they must have had sex, this is not, you know, you don't, you don't go take a shower if you're visiting a friend while the friend is still in bed, like, it's, yeah, that's, like, yeah, yeah. The the un unless it's like an old friend, and it really doesn't appear to be. You know, no. He he went there, he chatted up a local, and the you know, yeah. It's it's a very human thing. They they got together because they were attracted to each other, and he needed. You know, th that's the thing. Like the cop that talks to him, Sh shore trooper said the that was what the the um, subtitles said, which. Yeah, this is, this is, I'm guessing you can buy a short trooper toy now, which is, yeah, it's, it's been weird for, for a while that you can, you know, that it's been so, yeah. Um, Lindsay Ellis did a great video before she was cancelled called the, uh, I'm just really quickly going to find Ellis. Uh, the ideology of the first order. Yeah, 
the ideology of the first order the video is still up but but yeah you know the short trooper doesn't even ask you know he he says i'm a tourist and you know that that is something that they they you know they ask do you have a place to live because if you don't that you know could be uh, you know uh, if you have a place to live that suggests that you are like you know they don't they don't want you sleeping on a park bench uh, you know that that was that was something that Jason Bourne got in trouble for you know what was that 21 years ago you know back then they were like well I mean if you're gonna get in trouble with the cops I guess you have to like sleep on a park bench or something and now it's like well, if you're walking down the street you know you that that you know he didn't even ask do you live in this area because because like that would also you know they they could if Cassian gave the address the shore trooper could send someone to that address ask you know do you know this man uh, is it true that you know it, yeah they could even ask when did he leave and why and she could tell him oh yeah you know I don't know 15 minutes ago he, he was going shopping you know we need food and that would be that, you know, but no, cause, cause that's the, you know, yeah. And, and, you know, she could even be like, no, look, empty Star Wars equivalent of a fridge, you know, it's, yeah. Cause he didn't want to go, you know, he was like, I'm going in the other direction, you know, anyway. And let's see. Yeah. And, and we see the, the K, you know, in, in in Rogue One, we do see the 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 same model robot at, or droid, I suppose they're called in Star Wars. K two S O. You know, we see some of them like in you know yeah working still working for the Empire. I'm not sure we see the. I, I mean, we know that they can pick people up. I think we see K two S O like pick someone up and say, you know, I'm with the Empire. Then you know, I'm taking them to prison for imprisonment, you know, and, but, but, yeah, here, like, they're, they're carrying around people, and it is, like, you know, I mean, the, the, yeah, you know, it's, it's brutal, and, you know, the, the droid interprets the words as, you know, what, what was it, like, hang on to this one, or hang, yeah, some, hang and grabs him by the throat and slams him up against the wall for walking in the same direction as some some like low-level robbers were running you know and just yeah I, I really appreciate it. um I think I'm just very briefly gonna get into the 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 whole interaction between the, uh, so it was near the end of the episode, so I should be able to find it, looking pretty quickly. So yeah, you know, the, the, the short trooper's like, what are you doing? You keep looking around. And Andor says, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. You know, it's not, it's, you know, yeah. It's not like he was engaging in violence. He's not in a bad area. You know, he's, he's right near the beach. You know, there are tons of people there. But, oh, he was walking. And he was walking in the direction that they were running. And, yeah, you know, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. And the short trooper's like, are you part of it? Part of what? Don't play dumb. You know, like, and, yeah. I'm on my way to the store. He points directly to the store. It's it's right. It's like twenty steps away. And yeah, the trooper detains him. Says, "You look like you've been sweating. Well, it's hot. Or you've been running. You know, everything is a." Let's see. And yeah, and then he's you know a part of what. I'll ask the questions. You know, it, it is this thing of just, yeah, he he can't even get an answer. Uh, you know, 
Like, he literally doesn't actually know what's going on. And if he says, oh, yeah, there were some robbers, obviously the short trooper is going to be like, so you're part of it. And... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the, the people running are then caught by, you know, yeah, carried by the K2. Oh, wait, no, yeah, that's it's other people running. Yeah, honestly, a lot of these people are probably innocent. They just, they saw shore troopers and droids and got scared and ran. And, you know, yeah, he says, I'm a tourist. Tourists don't run, but I'm not running. And and the the droids are throwing around these you know yeah regular people and Let's see. So, so yeah. Um, and then, you know, there's the trial. There's no... Um, let's see. Oh, right, right, yeah. And there were also... Ah, I forget what they're called. Uh, spy droids? Uh, it, yeah, we, we see them in, in Empire Strikes Back, you know, flying. Uh, one of them is shot and blows up by one of the good guys right now forget was it maybe Han I'm um, uh, yeah you know those are also there so yeah you know everyone's under surveillance now you know and like for all this public police brutality no one tries to stop them you know or maybe they tried to stop them and get, got grabbed by those K2SO model robots you know so yeah and the, yeah, you know, very quickly, the, the you know, they go to, to trial and they actually, you know, he, he tries to protest. And, and several of the things that the, let's see, and, yeah, so the, the, things that he's accused of fleeing the scene of anti-imperial activity even though he pointed out multiple times I'm not running I'm I'm walking attempted damage and you know and she says don't you know you've got enough trouble without a resisting judgment charge so he has no defense lawyer and he's not allowed to make his own case either. He is, he has been arrested. They have decided that he, you know, th this is, this is just a necessary step. This is not, this is not a, this is not a trial. He is not allowed to try to, to make his case. This is just them, you know, this is judgment. They are, they are determining how, mo how long he's, how, how, Harshly, he's going to be punished. And, yeah, and, and then she says, I'm just a tourist. And she says, oh, apologies all around then. This used to be a six-month sentence. Six years. And and several of the, the people there also react and repeat, six years? And, yeah, you know, like... Yeah, ultimately, we, we don't even hear the attempted damage to what... I, I don't know, I mean, he grabbed onto the, the droid as it was choking him. Yeah, they probably say, oh, you're trying to damage our property. You know, of course he's going to try to grab hold. He's being choked. So, so yeah, you know, it's... Yeah, you know, they, they didn't say resisting arrest, but this... Yeah, they almost might as well have. Yeah, the the greatest crime in America is disrespecting a police officer, and let's see. Yeah, you know the the yeah, and she's you know six years. 
change of guidelines. Just, yeah, I didn't do anything. Take it up with the Emperor. And, yeah, just absolutely, it's, it's such, a, such a strong episode. It, it comments on so many aspects of the, the dictatorship. You know, yeah, they don't, they don't have rights. He doesn't have a right to an attorney. He doesn't have a right to a phone call. I, I mean, certainly. If he had a right to a phone call, I'd say almost definitely he would call the woman that he was staying with and she'd come and say, he hasn't done anything. I trust him, you know. Again, you know, she's in bed. He's, you know, he, he's pretending to take a shower. That's that's trust, you know. That that means that she's not scared that he's going to, like, steal from her or hurt her or something. Uh, let's see the the um, yeah, you know he's he's not. You know, it, it seems like well, I don't think he was even uh, informed of his charges, so he couldn't even form a defense before. You know, just yeah. Excellent episode. I really, really love this show. I can. It's it's very difficult to wait an entire week, but yeah. Um, I think that was absolutely everything that I wanted to. Right. I did want. I I I noticed this episode. Various characters have problems, but they're not quite the same kind of problem. Andor is basically, you know, everywhere he goes, he's told, you can't be here. You know, he's a tourist, he's walking down the street, he gets arrested. He gets six years in prison, that's his problem. Meanwhile, you know, Dedra gets publicly accused of not following the rules. You know, that's her problem. That is, It's such a... Different, and she, you know, she knows what happened. Everybody knows the details by now, you know. And again, like, not many people die. It's not like they blew up a military base, or even worse, a civilian target. They they stole money, and you know, this dictatorship is like, you broke the rules. That's that's not allowed. That's not. We're not going to stand for this. And uh, you know, the the one time where Dedra is upset at all the excessive punishment she doesn't say this is this is horrible for people she says this is damaging to our cause you know this is gonna help them not us you know and uh, let's see yeah just uh, you know I've, I've made my point the the depending on how much privilege you have in the Star Wars galaxy you know your problems are very different in in this and and also you know vel has a problem a loose end she she's being told you know and she even like she points out you know you're you're using you're using vague language you're anx you're asking me to kill this guy you know and and you know ultimately and and this is also you know she finds out you know his he lied about his name you know, so there is this thing of, you know, he has now betrayed her trust multiple times, you know, and yeah, just, but, but, and still she does not want to kill him. And, you know, I, I don't think she says it, but it is like this thing of he just helped you steal this, this money that's going to fund many missions and you're going to kill him. You know, like he he shot a traitor, left with only his cut, even though he could have left with all of it, and left you, you know, without a, a vehicle and everything. You know, like yeah, and he could have shot her if he wanted to, but he specifically just said, you know. And, and he says, you know, I don't owe Luthen any... Actually, yeah, to be fair, I don't owe Luthen any more could be read by hardcore rebels as 
if he gets interrogated, he's gonna give up. He's gonna give up Luthen, you know. So, yeah. But yeah, I absolutely. I I. Every single episode, something in the show happens that I had not guessed. And like I said, I, I you know, an entire week between episodes, like my mind is going a mile a minute trying to figure out what's going to happen next. What are going to be the consequences? I didn't realize that Andor would be you know put in prison like I legit thought that he was gonna be so far away you know I actually yeah actually yeah yeah he was going to take Marva to that place that Skeen mentioned and he doesn't want to be there all by himself so he goes to this other place not realizing that you know I don't know maybe they weren't really under imperial control until Aldani Maybe Imperial control was tightened, you know, but yeah. And yeah, I, I continue to be very... I, I really want to see where Cyril go. Actually, yeah, isn't he the... Yeah, the episode ends on him and his cubicle. So, yeah, you know, the... Yeah. And... Yeah, just... um. Really, really psyched. I this is this is easily the best live action Star Wars show, and honestly, um, yeah, it's it's better than the recent movies. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 on a whole nother level. Like I still love Mandalorian. Don't get me wrong, but this is on a whole nother level. This is the this is the the shot of adrenaline that, uh, maybe not adrenaline, this is the new blood that the Star Wars, you know, yeah, um, live action Star Wars needed, you know, some something that's just completely different and yet, like, it fits in that same world, but this is a political thriller in the Star Wars galaxy, it's not a Star Wars movie that's also a political thriller. So, or Star Wars, yeah, yeah, a couple of, you know, it appears that this season, maybe also next season, is going to be made up of four movies that are connected by character, plot, and theme, but are essentially separate. Like, there's a very clear ending at the end of the third episode, at the end of the sixth episode you know and yeah I'm really glad they're doing that um, I have very little positive to say about Star Trek Enterprise but when they started doing that I want to say season four you know mini movies instead of an overall like serialized yeah it was it was a good choice that yeah so you know there's no doubt in my mind that I haven't I haven't watched New Trek, but of yeah, what uh, K K Kelvin timeline crap. I've uh, yeah, the before New Trek, by far, Star Trek never got any worse than Star Trek Enterprise. None of the none of the other shows, none of the movies, are as bad. And again, I can't say if New Trek is better or worse. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I'm ever gonna start diving into New Trek. Yes, I have heard some good things about it. I've also heard some bad things about it. I'm just not... Yeah. Anyway, amazing episode. I, I'm i so happy to be this excited about something Star Wars again. You know, the... Yeah, so, with that said, this will not be the last video I make this week, so... You know, I might catch you next week, but hopefully I will catch you even before then. So, until then.